Welcome to the Eclectic Thrift and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday. Or in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Hello. Well, today we're going to begin with the very meanest of hauls, and we will begin the haul with this Friesian horse that my son made for 4-H. It was when he was learning how to focus. He has what's called executive dysfunction disorder, which is hard for young people uh, with this disorder to focus and organize their thoughts. So sculpture was my way of helping him out with that. This project was made of polymer clay and the clay was laid over a wire frame. I will be making a second one and at that time I'll show you how to make the armature. And all of that to share this. This little leather saddle that we thrifted last week. Isn't that adorable? We paid $2.50 for it. It actually resells for $24, but we're going to keep it for our miniature build. Aaron thought it funny that we should saddle up the horse for the video. He starts university on March 20th. So he's come a long way. I purchased this little articulated doll on Amazon for about $8. It took me a while to find one that was five inches tall, but my reason for getting it was for sizing up projects for the build. I didn't want to pull out these dolls and get the porcelain faces smudged or their clothes smudged. So I bought this articulated doll to use when making furniture or fitting the rooms for bookshelves and everything. My husband's German, so he calls this a little humpleman. These articulated dolls come in an assortment of sizes. I really had to hunt for a while to find one that was five inches tall. Since I'm new at miniatures and just learning 112 scale, this will come in very handy when making sure everything is to scale. This is just a little lawn swing I found at St. Vincent's for a quarter, and we'll see what we can do with that for our build. This product is wax for jewelry making. It is used in the lost wax process but I'm going to be using it to carve fine details in small items that are 112 scale with more accuracy. About this time last year, I shared that I was going to start working on my lighting. It was more of a thinking out loud video trying to figure out how I was going to accomplish this. I tried uh, polymer clay and it was just too unmanageable for me. But then my son fell ill with COVID and he was sick for about eight weeks and then we had to make up school so he could graduate. Right after graduation we worked on the build because that had been delayed for three months so I never did get to my lighting. I think I'm going to enjoy this product and I could make those little ornaments as well as duplicate these little Fenton shoes in miniature. Once I've completed the detailed master design wax I will make a mold in silicone and then cast it in acrylic. I will wait till I get a series of these small ornaments together before I make the mold. And lastly, this is the camera I purchased. By the time you see this, this will have been returned. As you can see by reading the package, the quality of this camera is not very good. The color quality was very disappointing. It gave everything a yellowish tint to it, made skin look very jaundicey, I thought. So along with the clarity issues, I made the decision that this was not the right camera for me. This camera would be perfect for a person between the ages of 9 and 13 if they're learning how to film and edit videos, but I would not recommend it for any other purpose. A new camera will be arriving tomorrow and I'll be able to take a look at that and we'll take a look together to see how well that one's going to work out and then I'll let you know what my Uploading schedule will be since I'm so far behind right now. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends and help me to reach 1,000 subscribers. 
I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of Bricks and Crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.